What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. Yesterday was an exciting day. We ended up getting a, during our live stream, we ended up getting a 3D representation, a model of our avatar, of what we're going to look like in the game. And as we could look at, you know, as we look at the box art, it kind of looks like there is a uh, slight customization, maybe, maybe because of uh, blueprints that you attach to your exosuit. But there is also color variation as well, which means maybe we can uh, change the color of our exosuits. What's super exciting about this is that it's, it's uploaded to a channel called Tech Support, and this is video one of three. So we still have two more videos that are going to come out that are going to uh, hopefully reveal more about No Man's Sky. But what's what's cool about this is you can see the animations. Uh, so this is exactly um, what we're going to see in the game roundabout. Like I said, you know, because of, you know, attaching tech or uh, maybe slight customization, things like that. But this opens up a lot of new questions. Are we going to see third person view? And if we do, that backpack's pretty hefty. Uh, so when he gets in the ship, how, you know, I mean, uh, with that back, you know, with the jetpack uh, pressed up against the back of the seat, <laughs> it's going to be a little difficult to fly and might even make the animation look uh, a little weird. So are we are we going to be able to kind of look back at our character inside the cockpit? And if so, are we possibly looking at maybe slight changes to our ships? Is third person something you guys are interested in or interested in seeing? The sound bites in the video that I uploaded where I ask if these were multi crew ships, I also put in sound bites that were never used in No Man's Sky, and we have internal view selected, external view selected. That could mean uh, like third person and first person views for your freighters or for the multi crew ships. And if we get that, or maybe even for the ships itself, uh, for your starship, your personal starship. But are you guys happy with this uh, design? I know a lot of people are thinking that we're going to be procedurally generated. I know a lot of people were, were thinking that we would look like the travelers that are in the game. And if this is the case, are the travelers going to still be in the game? What kind of, you know, I, I think where is developing the story for the reason why we are now able to be seen. Because if you remember the placeholder orb, placeholder art that they use for the orbs, they, you know, they didn't, that wasn't a missed opportunity. You know, they kind of put in lore for the reason why we were orbs uh wisps so to speak but um but the ARG is kind of developing that story for us another thing that I want to talk about on the subcast on Tuesday the big subcast that we're going to be having here on Tuesday is multiplayer in general I mean think about what this entails think about people that are stuck out in the Hilbert uh dimension or in, in, a, in a different galaxy altogether you know I mean and and they and everybody is uh partying it up in multiplayer in Euclid uh, are we just going to, is, is multiplayer just going to be a party up kind of thing? Or is it going to be persistent around the universe? If it's going to be persistent around the universe, is it going to be a separate game mode? If, if it's going to be, um, uh, if it's going to be implemented into normal mode, is there going to be, you know, the normal mode that we already have, is there going to be a way for people to get, uh, back from those other galaxies into Euclid? Uh, go, you know be able to travel back and forth through those galaxies because if not that game save that they have invested all that time in uh they won't be able to really enjoy and a lot of the multiplayer because a lot of people are in euclid right now there's uh there's even some hubs that are out in other uh dimensions and galaxies and they won't be able to really mingle and go back into euclid as it stands right now so uh we could be looking at a lot of game changes as far as ship designs um as far as you know being able to travel back and forth through different galaxies and things like that first person i mean third person uh view and and, and keep this in mind too a lot of things are probably going to have to be optimized in the game for these avatars to be added because have you guys ever looked at the scale of, of things the, the scales are completely off as far as how big you would be to your exocraft uh how big you would be to a rock what the uh, asteroids really look like when you go out in photo mode things like that i mean the scale is way off in this game and to implement third person or being able to see a person period a lot's gonna have to be optimized as far as scale so when people are thinking that this is just a multiplayer update there's a lot going into this update that's going to have to be done in order to make all this stuff work. 
such as people stuck in, in other galaxies, the scale, uh, the ships, and you know, all, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. I'm super excited, but I, uh, you know, this came out during our live stream, and I kind of freaked out and started pounding on the desk, and I ended up knocking everything offline. Uh, so it was pretty funny, and we also had the uh, audio messed up there in the beginning. So apologies, uh, just watch your earbuds when you were starting that stream. Uh, that's that's all I've got for you today, guys. I'm super excited about this. I really am. And uh, comment down below what you guys think. Are you excited on the topics, you know, about the third person, about the multiple galaxies, about um, just everything else, the scale? The scale is, uh, that's, that's what I'm most interested in because the scale's way off, guys. The scale's way off. Um, so uh, can't wait to see what they do with that. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I will see you guys Tuesday night, maybe Monday night. Um, I'm looking forward to trying to stream on Monday night, and we're going to see if that's going to be a possibility. As always, I love you guys. I will see you all in the next video. Until next time.